Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how the class object and list introducing the item to the combo box. Let's click. First we have to define the class. Here we define the class persons and having the two members imply names and imply id as integer. We set the two properties here in the class. One is the display members and one is the value members so so what to choose the two variables display members value members as in the person here imply name and imply id as integers so property we define imply id as an integer which is different from the imply id you see the l is the used for different setting property so this is different from the private members so property we define the as you define the property in a class so impl id as an integer having the getting the value of imp imply id and return the imply id okay similarly the for the names we set up the property impl r names as compared to imp names we consider imply name as a property so next is define the constructor here we can directly pass the value from the object using the constructor please watch the tutorial which in explain the working of the constructor my class and object tutorials so this is a class and we private members and setting the properties and defining the constructor so here is the object is type of the array so different list of employee as a you can say array type variables define the new object one two new object and assigning the values and this data source is the list of the employees so this is in one two and you can expand any numbers so what's the display members so imply name is the property and combo box value number id also to the end combo box dot text is select so let's check how it work so when you click on this on the distant ram and shams is also introducing the items okay that's you important of the class and object we just also define the value members to the combo box and display members using the data source is the list of temp this type of the you can say array so defining the new now next is to show you you need the list we are same as a pattern of my list class names my list f name my id so my field is the basically we taken here using the property defining the and the unique constructor so we construct here as a list so important this point is this here we are generating new list of my list is class name so this is class name so this is a new list generating list one so we list we adding the item to the list and this is a, you know have to the id numbers this is the names of fruits so this data source is list what we show display member my few fruit names and my few food item yeah food names so comma box dot text like let's see work so we click on the class and list and filling the list and simply if we object filling the this automatically clear the items no need to dot clear methods if you add here dot clear that can not in working in this because you set the property data source that cannot be clear by clear methods so these are the different method list and array type class object and list type class and objects so this is the code behind the list filling the list of the 
classes objects so this array types like classes and objects so these are the two my list classes public class private members property settings and constructor settings so that's all about the class and object and fill to the item two important parameters like well display members and value members please like and subscribe my channels thanks